What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. It is another day. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Me and Chris, Chris, we decided, well, we got an invite from Akuma to come up to ICAST. So we decided to take a day to come up here and uh, to see how things are going. So that's what we're doing. We're out here at the north wing of the ICAST building. Look, power pole, baby. So we're out here at the north wing and that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go up here, talk with Akuma, talk with Gamagatsu and Spro and uh, just do our thing. So hopefully you'll see some cool things. Maybe you won't, I'm not sure. Let's go. Hey guys, you know where we're at, Okuma. We have made it to the booth, Soft Steel, Fish Lab, they're all combined here. We got Davey. Hi so, everybody. <laughs> guys, you, you probably know Dave. If, if you've watched the Akuma channel, he leads that channel along with uh, what, me and John. What's your other channel? You got another channel. I've got one, Davey's World Fishing. Davey's World. Yeah, Davey's World Fishing. YouTube, check it out. What do you show on uh, Davey's World? I just there? everything. A lot of how to's, a lot of kayak fishing. A lot of that fun stuff. Little video, yeah, for the Okuma side, it's Okuma, Fish Lab, Soft Steel. We've got our Tune Up Tuesdays. We've got all kinds of fun stuff going on over there. Good stuff. Well, guys, let's take a look. Davey is going to show us something beautiful here, something new. Let's take a look. Let's go look at some rods. All right, let's do let's it. Let's walk, walk this way. Follow him. Follow Davey. Come on. Uh, I love it. So here's kind of all the new product lineup for Okuma on the rod side for 2022 releases. It's 2021, but it's 2022. So, uh, you know, one of the big releases we have, not super relevant for you Florida guys, but it's the SST series of rods. This is our number one series of rods from all over Okuma. There's about 80 different SKUs within that family. SST, salmon, steelhead, and trout's what that stands for. So if you're up in Washington or Oregon, you're gonna see these rods on just about everybody's boats. It's really ridiculous. Like I said, there's like 80 SKUs within that series. It's, it's nuts. Uh, another big one is gonna be uh, the, the Psycho Sticks, I mean your musky stuff, your GLS rods, which are uh, gonna be like another salmon steelhead. That's our core market up in that Northwest. These ones happen to be for the steelhead guys up in the Midwest. Uh, you know, one for you guys down here, that's the new Silver Slayer rod. Oh, that's nice. So that's the Silver Slayer. That's, that's the tarpon your, scale. That's your tarpon rod right here. That's the tarpon rod? There's about six skews within that family. Seven foot to say seven foot nine, extra heavy. Uh, they're built for the hardcore. And you put a big hook keeper we on put a there. We put a big hook keeper on there. You were lacking that on one of those rods that we got. <coughs> Guys, look at that. Yeah. And that thing's a beast too. That, that, that rod he got, it was a beast. I like this, guys. So that's the Silver Slayer. I only got a couple pieces here, but you can see it's a full cork grip, no split butts on those things. Uh, they're built for those big fish. You know, get your 100 pounder, get your 200 pounder on there. That's the series for you right there. That's nice. Yeah, so you got a half cork, half foam grip on those GLS rods. Real comfortable. The other one for you guys, which might be interesting for some of you guys down here, that's the uh, Snakehead rod. That's the Snakehead Junkie. Yep. So. That's interesting. I haven't seen anyone really cater to the snakeheads. So that came about up actually in the Northeast. So they're getting a real big snakehead push up there. It's a, it's a thing now up there in the Northeast. We're talking, uh, you know, up past the Carolinas. They're getting some snakehead and it's it's something that everybody's targeting up there. They're mean fish. They are mean fish. So they can tolerate fish. the cold. What is yeah, that? It's oddly. Is that like snake? Snake head, That's uh, like a snake, yeah, just a snake print, really, more than anything. You know, I really like that brown, too. Yeah, uh, that's cool. Iridescent looking brown. Uh, it's a nice rod. It feels They're nice good. Rods. You know, for the guys that are throwing big frogs for the snake head or anything up on the surface, you know how those things explode and they, they get crazy. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. They're pretty hey, cool. What about that, um, is it the reflection? Is that what it's called? On the other side there? Yeah, that's yeah. the new reflections rods. Yeah, I saw, is that, does that cater towards our area? It does, so this is just an all around general rod. This is already the third generation of the reflections. It's a full series of rods. I wanna say there's about 25 different SKUs, spinning and casting. Uh, it's a split grip design. Yeah, I think there might be some full grip in there as well, but it's got the split cork grip. You got nice high-end components on it, but it's just a, a great little look. Everything from like six foot six up to about seven foot six, spinning and casting. Uh, if you're an inshore guy, these things are awesome. Go pitch, go chase some snook around, have some fun on the inshore stuff. 
but a really we cool one. A surf rod here. We do, yeah. So that's a that's actually I was just gonna get to that next. So for you guys that are uh, in the kayaks, we used to have the Nomad lineup of travel rods. These are all three and four piece breakdown rods. We uh, we actually got rid of the Nomad rods. We reintroduced everything into the Voyager Signature Series. So these are uh, these are all travel rods. They're all multiple piece rods. Woo! So this is the uh, this happens to be the surf rod. <laughs> That's a four piece breakdown rod. You can see that thing breaks down small. So if you're chasing on the beach or cruising up and down, if you're in Texas and you're on your ATV and you're running up and down the beach, pack these in the back of your car. Super simple, but they're very very stout. So that happens to be the surf. They've all got that real long European spigot ferrule design. As you can see, it's got that real long spigot ferrule. Gives it a real one-piece feel when you're putting those things together. So that happens to be the, the nine foot of the travel rod. Let's take a look at one of the, the kayak rods here. We got some kayak rods? So they're in the travel series as well. Huh? So that's that same series. So this is the Voyager Select. These are all breakdown rods. They've got that long European spigot ferrule. So if you're one of the guys like out in Southern California, we're going in and out of the surf, you can actually take this thing apart, stick it in your hatch. If you do roll or flip or get knocked over, you don't have to worry about actually losing your rods coming in and out. But uh, you know, let's put this thing together. It's, it's simple rod, high end components. I mean, look at the look on that thing. Nice split grips. You actually got a double locking reel seat. So your reel's gonna stay in place. So here, uh, let's give that, uh, like, feel that rod, Josh. Nice and light. Nice and light. Pull, pull, pull on that thing. Feel that one-piece feel on that thing. Now you can really tug on that thing. That's a four-piece rod. That's actually impressive. It's solid. I like that seat, too. They got that skeletonized wheel seat with that double locking hood. They're, uh, they're awesome little rods. Yeah, the, you know, the designs, too, that they've all been putting on the rods have been really nice. That psycho rod that I got, psycho the bass stick, rod, yeah. man, I've been really feeling that with that Helios SX. Totally. That thing's been nice, man. That's been a smooth combo. They're uh, fun combos for sure. Here's some of the psycho sticks right behind you there. For those of you guys that haven't seen it, that's that psycho stick lineup. I just showed them on live the other day, and they, they loved it. And uh, I'm gonna catch a lot of uh, bass on that. Look at that Makaira. All right, guys, over here at the Fish Lab booth, check out this salamander. This is a new bait that they have coming out for 2022. They got it over here in the bait tank. We'll show you that. Let's see what kind of colors we got. So there's about six different colors in these baits and they come in a four and a half, a six and a seven inch size. It's called the Slamamander. So it's a salamander or a water dog, depending on where you're at in the country. But what's really unique about this bait is you got the gill design. So you got the gill flare, you swim it, the gills will kind of pop up when you pause and they'll go back down. The little arms will come out wide. They'll go back down when you swim it. They'll come when you pause, that kind of thing. And then the really unique feature is the paddle tail. Most lizards and salamander style baits do not have a paddle tail. So what you got going on there is you got the side to side wiggle as you're swimming it, but you also got the, the hard paddle kick as well. So it gives you a lot of secondary and triple action going. So you got arms, you got your gills, you got your side to side, and you got your paddle tail. Super unique. They come in a, uh, a five pack, a four pack, and a three pack, depending on the sizes. And they're all just about 10 bucks. Oh, how would you rig that? So most yeah, folks are gonna fish this with a big a beast hook. Kind of so a big belly weighted like beast hook, yep. you know, Read it, rig it weedless. There's a little bit of a slit there so you can bring your hook right up through it, fish it weedless, drag it right through the weeds over rocks, drop it back down. Out in Southern California, if we fish these in salt water and we're throwing them on the rocks, we'll fish it with a, a weighted jig head. It'll have an exposed hook, but we'll fish that with the jig head as well. Very nice. You, you want to show us that thing swimming the yeah, tank? Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's take a look, guys. See how it looks. Put that on a bed, they destroy it. Oh, totally. You swim that up and drop it on a bed. So that's that belly rigged beast hook. As you can see, it's got a side to side wiggle, but it's also got that paddle tail kick to it as well. It gives it that extra flair. Yeah, that's a, that's a really large tail on there. So it really wobbles and throws that little weight. And you can see those little gills, the little gill flare there, just like oh, a dude. real salamander. Those gills actually flare out. They give it a little extra wiggle, those arms, everything that's secondary movement, that's just enough to drag in a fish and drive them crazy, get that big strike. Nice, that's really cool. 
That's the Slamamander. Check them out. Fishlabtackle.com. Slamamander. Slamamander. Agro would destroy yep. it. Oh, for sure. Oh, uh, uh, what's this called? That's the vertical jig. So guys, this is a little vertical jig. Dave was just showing us. This thing's got some wicked action. Uh, uh, they make it for vertical jigging up north primarily, but I was telling him, this thing uh, would do really well for some mackerel fishing. Check out this action. You might have to come over, Chris. I don't know if you, well, however you feel is best. What's this thing? So it really just, it just darts all over the place. It does, that's, that's vertical, but if you were to cast that thing and just kind of jig that thing back, yeah. you know, it's got a lot of hopping action. You can get it going right and left. Does it have a saltwater rated hook? Uh, it's a it's a freshwater jig. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're getting into some big fish, if you get a big fish on that thing, it'll it'll I'm sure it'll bend it out. Right. Well, but, mackerel, uh, you know, they're average two yeah. to five pounds. I think you'd be all right with those. So the, what's unique about this particular one, and there's lots of vertical jigs on the market, is it's got this metal tail. The metal tail is cool because you can actually flare it out a little bit. If I want it to go a little bit wider, kick, you can bend it. Bend it in. Just depends on how you want your action to go. Well, it's like a plane. I'm, I've never really seen that, or or a, uh, a lower unit on a boat. That's cool. I like that. Might have to get some of those to test them out in the back. Totally. For sure. And then for you guys that are fishing snook. Uh oh, we got the snook bait. You guys fish uh, like fishing the top water baits for snook at all? Yeah. Throw them in deep. So that's the bio shad wake bait. Throw that in towards shore and just slowly work that thing back. Right near, near the mangrove shoreline. There he goes. He didn't want to wiggle that time. He'll get it this time. There you go. Oh, man. She throws a good weight, too. She does throw a big weight. Slow retrieve. You can pop it if you want and get that side flash. A lot of times on those big bass, you're going to get that big strike as soon as you pause it. Give it that other twitch, get it going. Yeah, see that? It looks like it's uh, kind of wounded up there on the surface. Nice. So one of the cool new products we had at Fish Lab this year, if you're an offshore fisherman fishing flying fish, is the, the Bio Flyer. So what this is is a Bio Flyer wing kit. It's actually a set of wings that you can attach to your mullet or your mackerel or whatever else to turn it into a flying fish. Out in Southern California, every time you go on a boat right now, you got a legitimate shot at a bluefin tuna that's over 200 pounds. A lot of those fish are coming off of flying fish and you're paying about 40 bucks a piece for a frozen flying fish right now. We don't have, they're not plentiful, they're bringing them in if you can even get one. You're paying about 40 bucks for one flying fish. We need to get in that market. Seriously, yeah. Scoop those things up and send them over. So with this thing, what you do, jig up some bait, get your mullet. You guys can cast that out here. We can't do that at home, but get your mullet, jig up some mackerel, get them in your bait, you know, big baits. You take this, you put it right over the top. Like this is an example. If this was your mackerel. You could drop that right over the top. Use your pin system. There's a little rubber band on the bottom. Now you have a live mackerel or mullet or whatever you want to use that looks just like a flying fish. We're fishing it from the kite. I know the guys down in the Keys are doing the same thing for sailfish. So this guy is just, as you're looking down at it, it looks just like just like a flying fish. That profile, they're gonna come up. You rig it, hook your rig however you want, and they run about 10 bucks. So in California, you're paying 40 bucks for flying fish. Right here, you're at $10. You get all the mackerel you want. You know, you're gonna end up being about a single use out of it, but for 10 bucks, fish of a lifetime, worth it. That's what I was gonna ask you. So when you get that first strike, or that first fish, they're usually gonna destroy it. Yeah, you plan on it being gone, but you know, with the, like I said, $40 a piece for a flying fish now at home. Right. A $10 investment. If you catch a monster fish, it's worth it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Man, that's cool. That's the bio flyer. It's pretty cool. And then some of the other stuff, we got all kinds of stick baits on the uh, fish lab side, big poppers, lots of slow pitch jigs now. Nice. Rat. Yeah. What's going on, guys? So we're over here at the Spro booth in the Gamagatsu booth. Uh, these brand new. Got some brand new products that uh, Steven's going to be showing us for the channel. Take a look at this guy. We'll let him show you more, but That's like pretty what nice. we got new, Steven? Uh, right now, the big thing is the flapping frog. It's going to be a last summer material. It's got that nano smooth coating hook on there, so you're going to get that nice little hook set. What's different about it than the regular bronze eye is this a little harder the regular bronze eye huh? this elastomer tip uh material it's going to collapse a little bit better so and it also allows it to skip a lot better it's five eighths out so it's going to be a heavy little heavy little frog there so it'll skip like crazy makes as the drew cook says it makes it plop plop which uh, apparently is a little better than the flat flap so all right here you so let me ask you one of the problems that we've always had with these type of frogs is they 
you know, after a few casts, they pierce themselves and yep. they just constantly fill up with water, exactly. even when you don't want them to. How, how would this material fare compared to your normal stuff? The nice thing about this is this material floats, so you can get as many holes in it. I mean, obviously, if you have like a tiny bit of it, it's going to sink, yeah, but right. um, you get a few holes in it, it's not going to it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess it up at all. And that's like that elastic, so that stuff, I imagine this is going to last a lot longer than your oh, yeah. ordinary frog. Absolutely. Do it again. Absolutely. Check that out. I mean, that thing, that's cool. I mean, it's not going to tear either. Yeah. The paint might wear just a little bit, but I mean, it ain't going to make a difference. You, you just paint it back up. For sure. Absolutely. So this guy here looks wicked cool. It's a sweet little bait. Yeah, we just got it. Um, we should be getting them around October in stock. So it's called the Bronze Eye Blade. Uh, Dean Rojas worked with us on this. So cool. obviously it's going to be a high quality product, something like that. He's been running it for a few months now. And even uh, when we got it in, I took it to the tank. I was like, ah, blade, blade frogs. Yeah. Usually they don't run, right. right? You know what I'm saying? I took it back there, and I mean, those freaking blades just spin perfect. They were good. Thing. Yeah. Now the, the only concern I would have with something like this is that how does it crawl over vegetation? Oh, perfect. Good. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a weedless frog, so it's gonna yeah. you just crawl that thing out there, and you can even some guys like to bend out the hooks a little more. You can do that too. Any kind of tweaks you want there, and these blades they're interlocked, so I mean. They're not pulling out. Like some of them are screwed in, they'll yeah. pull out. So okay. these they're gonna be interlocked with the wire. Very nice. And then yes, you got this mini guy. Absolutely. I mean this thing's fun so killer. You're gonna throw this on a light spinning rod. Oh, yeah. Something Absolutely. really light and uh this is gonna appeal to who? Uh, a lot of pond fishermen. I think uh, I think uh I said the challenge is going to be to try to get a crappie to bite that thing. So I think I think it probably would. Especially I think our crappie. We got some big crappie down oh, yeah. there. So Absolutely. I mean that, that's pretty cool, guys. Nice, small, compact. Maybe you do some full cool B-roll on, on these real quick. Uh, anything else new, Stephen? That we got to know about? Uh, right now, mainly just colors. This uh, is cool right here. Absolutely, this it is. This got to be the, the, the big dog. It the is show. the big dog. It's uh, it's definitely. We think it's gonna do pretty good. That's like the bread and butter here. So like everybody's that. been coming by. So. I, gotta, I gotta throw some out for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you see the name Spro and you just think Spro problem. Exactly. Spro problem. exactly. That's, what, that's a little different. That's what's nice. It's a little bit different material too. So we're changing it up for sure. I like that, man. Well, we're gonna have to get some toads on that this year. <laughs> you won't be able to tell it's wrong. All right, guys, we're back over here at the Dexter booth and look what Victor has made. Mutton snapper ceviche. Literally, I saw this fish frozen, eyes all bloody. It was nasty, and he wants me to eat it right now. Actually, the eyes look good. Yeah, the eyes look good. I don't know what you're talking about. You must have been at the rubber board. Not the Dexter's booth. Wow, he's throwing shots right now. How's that? We work with Fresh. Yeah, right? Actually, can you tell us he's going to be here? Dude, it's fresh. Like it's well, on a hot day. Let me, let me get one of them, Victor. Now, now I want it. I'm starving. This one's for you. And I'm a text. I'm a texture eater. So you're a texture eater. Well, I like right I like rices and stuff like that. Wow, you weren't even recording. I was recording. He does. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All I'm gonna say is, if you don't like ceviche, you don't like ceviche. You I know it. it's good. We've had hundreds hey, of people try. It. They it's, love it. It's all right, Josh. It's not terrible. Ask them where the trash can. Is. No, man, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, you say the lemon juice cooks it? Lime juice. It's pretty good, guys. How is that? Citric acid. Citric acid denatures the protein. So the same way that heat denatures protein and turns it white is the same way citric acid does. See this, guys? It's science. 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 I love it. So, guys. No, no, no. I'll start this. Cool. Mr. It's okay. Can I get another one? Look at this. He's going back for more. Oh, Second that's, serving. That's, hey, so I haven't had lunch, guys. And Victor and Brooke, they make some good ceviche. Is this your first time having ceviche? I believe it is, Victor. There I believe go. it is. So, you know what I'm asking them about? You know. When are the babies coming? The, the little, little anchards. Here's the real 
she she can answer these questions. I don't know. <laughs> I'll pick out names. So I asked them what their babies' names were, and he said Josh and Chris. <laughs> and and this is this was coming from guy Victor's or mouth. girl, guy or girl. Hey, there you go, oh, yeah. little, little Joshua. Hey, man, we live in a new age. Nobody can can say anything about that. Um, we just launched it a couple months ago. Awesome, man. It's nice. Really you cool. ready? What's going on, guys? We are back. Hey, Toadfish booth. I just actually barely caught my eye, but I had to stop in and see Casey. Hey, guys, if y'all don't know who Casey is, he is the founder of this beautiful company here. You've seen a lot of Toadfish stuff, but uh, Casey, I asked him if he could take a moment to show us some of his new and innovative stuff, and that's what we're here to do. What do you think, Casey? Yeah, man. Um, I'm the founder, started in my backyard, um, and we've been replanting oyster beds for the last three years. We just hit half a million in donations to oyster restoration, so we're super proud of that. And um, I love designing new products, and um, so I think you've seen the cutting board before. Yep. Um, we came out with a larger size now. So I got this idea from like my kid's iPad cover, you know how they collapse up. So I created a collapsible cutting board so you can pop out a full length cutting board you also have your, um, you know, to sharpen your knife, you got your built-in knife sharpener there, which is super cool. And then um, to go with it, again, I, I have kids, uh, they're always on the boat, and um, I hate having my big play knife out, it's just a little dangerous. It's and true. so, um, you know, you get a full um, nine inch blade uh, for your bigger offshore fish. We have the seven inch version too. Yeah, I use um, that one all the time. But this collapses up and then you can clip that you know, on your T-top or wherever you want to put it. I put it right so on my have, tackle bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right so that's a cool little, um, we call that the fillet system. So that that's a really fun item I like a lot. Guys, this thing is cool. Y'all see me use this fillet board almost every single time we're out on the boat. And when we're cutting bait, whether it be redfish, Mango snapper, or whatever it is, we're using this little fillet board right here. All the time. So, as you probably know, or if you don't, you also specialize in a lot of the uh, utensils for cooking. Yeah, um, so when I started designing products, people are like, you should design something you know, and I love to fish. I think I like to eat even as much. So um, I'm right there with you. Um, I've designed a whole line of coastal kitchen products, is what we call that's them. If you wanted both uh, of them this is our most popular. This is a shrimp devainer nice. that peels, deveins, and butterfly shrimp. I got a patent on this blade. Very so cool. as you come through the shrimp, that butterflies and uh, takes the poop out, as you'd say. All at once. All at that. once. Um, I've got the uh, the Rolls Royce of crab crackers here. I don't know if you've ever even felt this thing. If you feel heavy, this this actually cuts crab claws instead of smashing them. And nice. This will even cut a uh, stone crab claw. So Man. and a bottle opener, of course. You can drink some beers while you're. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. He, he he pays attention to the little things. That's cool. This is like surgical. Steel even the or packaging. <laughs> we always rave about the packaging. Yeah, and then this is a. Um, a fish spatula, so you'd think this is just, you know, a spatula. I've used that. But what I love about it, I thought about a few things, like this sits up so you don't have your spatula touching the table, um, you know, when you're cooking more sanitary. And um, I did a single tapler sharpen on the end so you can get under even the most delicate That's awesome. fish on the grill. It's super flexible. I probably did 50 3D prints to get this thing like honed in. Yeah. Um, so it's weird to like nerd out on a fish spatula, but I absolutely love, I use this product every day. I can flip um, eggs in a cast iron like, I believe it. And with this spatula. So it's well, a super cool item. Again, that's what I always loved about his products is he, Casey really, uh, he focuses on the, the nuances and the minute details that most people overlook. So, and that's that's really what's cool about most of his stuff. Yeah, ergonomics are important. I mean, it's just gotta feel simple, good yeah. and simple stuff, yeah. I mean, so. ergon and honestly, some of them were so simple, you're like, dang, why didn't I think of that? But hey guys, check this out. That's a toadfish braid. Gonna be putting that to the test. They came out with this a few months ago. Uh, I'm gonna go put it on a rod and reel and I'll let you know how it, how it goes. But. We just wanted to stop in. Oh, by the way, you know, you all have seen the commercial on this. Come on now. You've seen that. Non-tipping. Very cool. Hey, you got a girlfriend that wants, wants a white claw now. If you got a girlfriend now. or a wife that you want to make happy, 
They even got them in the skinny can. Actually, this is probably for Chris. He drinks those little cute beers. <laughs> Dude, our whole warehouse drinks White Claws all the time. <laughs>